Right, you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can create a full image backup of our usb flash drive so i've got mine plugged in here and i've got four free pieces of software that you can use uh, to make uh, full image backups of that drive so let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to do here i've got a folder on my desktop here called backup which is empty and that's where we're going to back up our images too now if you use flash drives a lot like i do then uh, this is really useful way of making a backup image of that USB flash drive, which may have all your uh, portable apps and stuff like that on there, which you use on a regular basis. So let's go ahead and start off with the first one here. Now this is a roadkill and a disk image version 1.6. And uh, you can see here, we do have write image and store image. So we want to store an image. So we're going to click on store image. Now be careful here because it will say read image uh, C drive. So you need to take care of the drop down arrow here and use the uh, drive that we want to uh, store. So we can see here we want to read this image, which is a USB flash drive. And now we want to put in our target where we want to go and store that image to. So let's browse to our backup folder, which is here. You can see I'm going to click save. You might need to give it a name. So we're going to call this uh, backup dash USB, something like that, and then click save. And now we have our target there. So all we need to do now is click on start and this will start the process. And you can see here, it will now start um, making a backup of our USB flash drive. It will take a bit of time, but basically that's how you can uh, make a backup image of your USB flash drive using Roadkill's disk image. So if we take a look at the folder here, I'll just pull this down. And you can take a look at the backup folder. You can see that image is being created right there. Okay, and this will take a full image of that USB flash drive. So let's move on to software number two. I'm going to open this one up. I'm going to run this. And this will open up our software. And this is it here. It's called USB Imaging Tool. It already uh, found my E drive here, which is my USB flash drive. You can open this up here and you've got some uh, tabs up the top here. Device gives you the device information and it also uh, gives you some other tabs like favorites, options and stuff like that. We're not going to go too heavy into the options area and, and bits like that, but that can be for another video if you want to see that. But we've got a log, debug and info here. And what we want to do is we want to back up this drive. So all we need to do is click on backup. It will ask us to select a location where we want to back up to. And we're going to select the backup uh, folder here. And what we're going to do is give it a name. And we'll call that USB backup. Click save. And it will then go ahead and start to uh, create a backup. You can see here saving the image. It will then take its time and uh, copy that image to that location. Let me just quickly pull this down so we can see. There we go. And it's now creating a USB backup image of there. And you can see this one's quite quicker than that roadkill one. So there it is uh, copying this along. It's doing quite a good job. 4%. So it's a, a lot faster than the uh, roadkill uh, imaging tool. I'm going to cancel this and move on to the next one. So the next piece of software is this uh, image USB. So I'm going to open this up. This is made by Passmark and Passmark are known for their uh, cool software. So I'm going to just put this tick into our SanDisk uh, Ultra and you can see it's selected there. And you can see here, write an image to uh, a USB drive, curate an image uh, from USB drive. So we need to make sure that we do that. You can see here, zero the USB drive. So you can wipe the information on that drive as well. Maybe we'll cover that in another video. But you can see here, uh, post uh, image verification, which is always advisable to make sure the image is of good uh, quality and it's not uh, corrupted in any way, shape or form. And now you can select here uh, the location where you want to put your a binary image which is your dot bin so what we're going to do here is select browse and we're going to go to desktop and i'm going to stick it inside here and we're going to call this usb backup 
that's like so you can call yours what you like so we've got that uh, saving inside here and all we need to do now is click on create and this will then go ahead and start creating our image so you can see here say yes say yes and it's now going to create an image into there so let me just quickly drop that down here and look inside here and you can see our bin file is being created right here and that's going along quite quickly as well so that seems like it's a very fast program at creating an image of your USB flash drive so I cancel this one and move on to the next one now we're moving on to RM prep USB created by Steve going to say yes to user account control and this is going to open up our program now this is a very powerful tool uh, doing a lot of other jobs more complex than what we're asking it to do here but it will create a backup of your USB flash drive as well and you can see he's worked very hard at creating a decent tool here guys and I'll leave the links for all these uh, tools in the uh, video description so to create this what we need to do here is make sure that we've got our drive selected which is up here and this is broken down into sections as you can see here section 2 and uh, section 3 and 4 and 5 and so on so all we need to do here is come down to the section that we want which is the drive to file here so we want to go from a drive to a file click on this one and now we can select the location where we want to back up to so I'm going to go to our backup folder here and call this uh, USB dash backup or whatever you want to call it click open and it will give you this box and you can see here uh, start start of drive which is zero and uh, up to the end of the last partition up to the end of the drive which will be uh, J I think that is there so you, or zero so you can just put zero in there if you want to and then click OK and again you can change this to whatever you like okay so let me just quickly start this off and click OK here click OK and get this uh, running and you can see here now that's going to start to create a backup of that so you can see here it's accessing drive one which is our SanDisk Ultra and uh, it's going to start to uh, create a backup of that and it will start doing that sector zero right up to the end of the position sector uh, whatever that is 60 million and uh, then you've got the uh, user drive end and so on so it go all the way through there and it will start to create an image of uh, that uh, drive there so let me just open the, the folder up here and you can see here it's now starting to create a backup so you can see USB dash backup here and you just need to uh, read those instructions and again that will go ahead and start to create a backup you can see it's going to take uh, a little bit of time to create that image for us there now if you haven't entered the giveaway yet you've got 21 hours left before the prize draw will be uh, drawn and uh, that will be for the Eufy RoboVac 11 which is around about 200 pounds uh, for that vacuum uh, robotic vacuum there which will uh, go around your house and over up while you're at work and stuff like that pretty cool little product and a very cool giveaway uh, sent over by Eufy Life anyway if you are interested in that don't forget I will leave the link for that in the video description just go over there and uh, hit the subscribe button and all the other bits and pieces in there and you can uh, have multiple entries into that giveaway so we haven't got long for that uh, draw to be taking place so don't miss out Anyway, that's pretty much it. That is the four pieces of software which you can use to create images of your USB flash drives. And I'll leave the links for those in the video description for you so you can download those and use them at your own leisure. Anyway, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out, guys. Have a great day, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.